Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. Today, NVIDIA's GeForce GT 710 $35 graphics card. Who should consider buying this? Who should not? That's what we're going to cover today. First, I want to separate this video into two parts, gamers and non-gamers. If you are not a gamer, if you came here looking for a basic graphics card for non-gaming use, I'll get right back to you, but I want to go ahead and cover gaming first. Now, if you came to this video thinking, I'm looking for an inexpensive card, I want to play some basic games and have something that doesn't cost me too much, this really is not something that you should consider. As an example, I have sitting here on the desk an Asus M32 CD desktop computer. I've previously reviewed that computer, link to that in the video description below, but in short, it's a $375 basic entry level machine. It's fast, it's a good machine. It does not come with a graphics card. Instead, it uses the integrated Intel graphics built into the processor. Those graphics are called HD 530. So it's Intel HD 530, and it will play esports titles and casual games. League of Legends, Dota 2, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Rocket League will all play at some detail level on the integrated graphics on this machine at 60 frames per second. Not ultra detail, not ultra high resolution, but they will play. This GT710 is almost half the performance of the integrated graphics of that machine. Yes, it is slower. If you buy this machine with integrated graphics and you buy a GT710 and you install it, everything will run slower or all your games will run slower. This is not meant for gaming. And if you're thinking of gaming, if you think you're buying an inexpensive machine like this and you want to game and you want to get better performance, then the lowest card you should consider buying is from NVIDIA, a GTX 750 Ti, which will run you between $90 to $100, or an AMD RX 460, which will run you about $110 to $120. It's a little bit faster than, than the 750, but they're both good cards. Both will install in this computer just fine. Both will run multiple times faster than the integrated graphics in here. Anywhere between three to five times faster. You can play all those games I mentioned at ultra detail at 1080p on either one of those cards beautifully. This is not an upgrade for that machine. What about non-gaming? Well, non-gaming, again, it's not an upgrade for that machine. There is no circumstances under which this card belongs in that computer or any new computer. This card is built for this computer. Now, not gamers, don't buy this card. Really don't. Either use your integrated graphics or buy a better card. If you are a non-gamer, the reason why this machine is sitting here is while that is brand new, this is not. This is a five-year-old computer. This is an Intel second generation, that one is sixth, this is a second generation i5-2400 with Intel's HD2000 graphics in it. They were terrible when they were new. Intel has come miles and miles in progress of integrated graphics since this machine came out. This computer is from 2011, so it's five years old. And while it works fine as is, it does not have an HDMI port in the back. Many machines didn't back in 2011. And even playing back HD video on YouTube or Netflix can be imperfect on a machine like this. Enter the GT710. This card will play back all the modern formats beautifully installed in a machine like this. In terms of overall graphics performance, it's about 250% faster than the HD2000 in here, which tells you how far apart the integrated graphics are between the, the four generations of chips. This is two and a half times faster than the HD2000, but half the performance of the HD530. So Intel's come a long way. But here's where the value is. This computer I bought last month off of eBay for $100. It is a quad core Intel chip for $100. Now it's an older machine, but for web browsing, watching Netflix, watching YouTube, checking your email, doing Facebook, it's plenty. It has all the CPU power you could ever want for basic tasks. Graphics-wise, it's terrible. This card will be installed in this computer and will improve the performance of high-definition video playback, of 
rendering web pages. Of, it accelerates a lot of things within Windows that the integrated graphics really frankly in 2016 are pretty terrible at. If you combine the cost of these two, $100 for this machine and $35 for this, it's actually a pretty good machine. Now, you could absolutely buy this and put it on your TV or use it as a basic machine, but that's $375. $100 and $35 is a whole lot less money. And I'm actually going to put this computer on my television and use it basically as a media consumption device, watching YouTube, watching Netflix, uh, browsing the web on my television. It gives, this card gives me an HDMI port and it gives me all the performance I need to do it for a lot less money than a new machine. So that's really what this is for. In terms of use beyond video, if you are just browsing the web and don't care about video playback, the integrated graphics in here will do it just fine. Except, of course, there's no HDMI port on here. And if you want an HDMI port to plug into your HDMI monitor, again, I bring you back to this. For $35, what this really does is, is gives you modern accelerated HD video playback, modern accelerated uh, standards for, it's got newer technology in it, and an HDMI port for older machines that don't have it. So that's where it's going. What does it look like inside the box? Let me open it up and show you. This is a very basic low profile card. And the nice thing about being low profile is this is a thin machine. A standard de desktop graphics card would not fit in here because this is one of those slim machines, but this will fit just fine. Take it out of the bag and show you what this looks like. Very small. And here we go. It is passively cool. There is no fan, so this will be completely 100% silent. No moving parts. It's just a heat sink. It's a very low powered card. There is a VGA port, an HDMI port, and a dual link DVI port. So for connecting to a television or any type of monitor, this gives you the ports you want. If maybe you want to run two monitors and you have an older machine that only has a single video out port, you could connect a a monitor to your HDMI point and then a monitor to either your VGA port or the dual link DVI port and run multiple monitors. So that's another value of a card like this. Now this card for $35 uh, comes with one gigabyte of VRAM on it, which is plenty. You don't need any more than that. They actually make two gigabyte versions of this mostly because people say, oh, two gigabytes must be more. There's no reason to buy the two gigabyte version. Don't bother. Now you may notice that the bracket at the end of this is too large to install in a low profile machine. That's okay, they provide two separate brackets for each of the ports. This unscrews, and I don't have the tool with me, but basically you unscrew these four um, hex screws. You can either use uh, pliers or uh, you need needle nose pliers or a socket for it. Unscrew those, this comes off the front, this VGA port actually could be unplugged from here if you don't want it. Otherwise, the VGA port is on a flexible cable. This is your VGA plug here, and basically it'll put them side by side. On the back of this machine, basically you'll have, you'll take up two slots, and this ribbon cable will just move over. So that's how you convert it from being a full height card to being a low profile card using the included adapters. That'll take you two minutes. There's no configuration changes. You don't have to do anything to the software. It's, it's just simply moving this ribbon cable over to the side. There's nothing else. I don't think there's any, is there any? Oh, there is. There is a driver CD in here. Don't use this. Go to nvidia.com and download the latest drivers from NVIDIA. There's no reason to use an outdated uh, CD. And then a quick user's guide that I'm sure just shows you how to install it. I'll open this up in case you're curious. <laughs> and that's in like 25 languages. Go figure. I d um, the actual information is printed in very small print here. That's not terribly useful. But that's really all that's in the box. This, if that weighs more than eight ounces, I'd be surprised. You're buying this to get hardware accelerated HD video playback to get the additional ports to run on an older machine. Do not put an HD 710 all the way through 740 in a modern machine. 
Even the HD730, uh, which runs between $50 to $60, is slower than the integrated graphics in here. The lowest you should put in any modern machine is a 750 or higher or an RX460. So I hope that was useful and informative to you regarding low-end graphics cards. They do serve a purpose, but it's a very limited one, and it's mostly for older machines either to accelerate their video playback or to give you additional video ports to run multiple monitors. Like this video if you like it. Don't if you don't. Remember to subscribe to my channel. It's the big huge red button right down there. Subscribe to get notifications of upcoming videos, unboxings, hardware reviews, performance videos, and all kinds of fun stuff. Questions, comments, thoughts, feedback, suggestions, those go below the video description below. Let me know what you think. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Was this informative and useful for you? I certainly hope it was. Links to this machine, which I've reviewed before, this card, will be in the video description below to both Amazon and Newegg, as well as a link to eBay where you can get a heck of a deal on an Intel i5-2400 machine. They're all currently coming off lease from corporations. This is an ex-big corporate machine. For $100 to $120, you can get all the performance you need for basic Windows tasks, watching videos, anything basically other than the latest and greatest games. Great, great deals to be found. So there'll be a link to eBay. Buy it now, pre-searched, from lowest to highest, including shipping. Check that out if you're interested in getting a deal like that. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.